Hey guys, this is Kirk from Go Make Music, and today I'm going to show you a way to easily convert arpeggiated information into a MIDI file that you can tweak, and it's a great way to quickly make chord progressions with an arpeggiator. All right, let's go. So we have our synth pluck going on. Just the alchemy patch, and then I am going to load in the arpeggiator. So right here in your MIDI effects, click arpeggiator, it opens up, and I'm going to put it in latch so that when I play my first chord, it's just going to keep going. So I'm going to play a C minor over G. Then I can go in here into my grid, and I can write in a new groove. If I like that, I can, this is velocity tweaking. If I like it, I can save it. Or I can try to find something and then tweak it from there. All right, that's kind of cool. So if I find something I like while it's playing, I just grab this one, not this one. I grab this one and I just drag it. Okay, so that's my C minor. And then I can hit stop and then turn this off. And then I'm gonna do my B flat major. It's gonna keep that same groove. All right, grab that. And then I'm just gonna hit a F major array. There it is. And then you turn this off because you don't want to arpeggiate an arpeggiated thing. I'm going to do two of these Fs. Highlight command, command J if you want to join them into one phrase. And there it is. So you can see that's so much faster than if I got in here and I was like drawing in an arpeggiated groove which can be fun also, but I just really like this approach sometimes. Just pulling up something, draw in some velocities, or tweak a custom pattern, and then just drag and drop. All right, I hope that's helpful. If you want more tips and tricks, go ahead and subscribe and hit the notification button. Also, there's some free courses on music production and mixing and mastering at www.gomakemusic.org. All right, let me know if you want to learn anything else in the comment section, and until next time, go make music.